So I, I believe um, Luis or Jen um, touched on this earlier in the presentation, but I just want to reiterate that the NCAA initial eligibility process is a separate process from the university admissions process. So every college and university dictates what their admissions requirement is to get into that university. Um, those may be much higher than the initial eligibility requirements, or in some cases, they're potentially lower than the initial eligibility requirements. But either way, they will always differ. Um, they're never the same. Um, so just be sure that um, you are working with the admissions office of the universities recruiting you or that you are interested in separate from this initial eligibility process that goes for um, submitting transcripts, submitting test scores, um, applying. All of those processes happen separate, which means you must do that with the school through the admissions process and you also must do it through the eligibility center. Um, so the eligibility center, if you are academically eligible with the eligibility center, that means you are eligible for participation at all NCAA Division I and II schools, but you must still be admitted to those schools on your merit. So there's one process to be eligible to participate, step on that field um, your freshman year, your first year of university, but the admissions process is separate. So just remember that.